Hello again. This is episode three, or run three, of Dragon Crystal. Um, I'm going to have to apologize right off. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Um, okay. Oh. We're in big trouble. If I die, I, I will do another run. Uh -huh. This would be a very, very short video. Here we go. Um, I do have to apologize a little bit off the bat because I am not feeling well. Uh, it's really weird too because when I started recording a few minutes ago to do the, the previous video, and about halfway through the video, my I just felt very hoarse. You know, I guess I'm coming down with something. Okay, this is looking bad here. Drink it. I'm paralyzed. It's that's great. Um, yeah, I just start. You know, I feel like I'm coming down with a oh, kill it, kill it. Okay, that was a quick video. <laughs> I feel like I'm coming down with a cold. And uh, my voice just kind of started uh, quitting on me. So I, I did drink uh, drink some tea, and it, it seems to have helped a bit. And I'm also a lot closer to the mic right now. So hopefully I'll be loud and clear. But uh, yeah, I, I try to make sure I'm. I'm feeling well when I do these. Uh, you know, just just so everyone can hear me well, and you know, I'm not all congested and mumbly. But this just kind of came out of the blue. Uh, I've never really had a well. I guess I've had. You know, usually you wake up with a cold. You know, I don't think I've ever had one just start hitting me out of nowhere. Oh well. Um. It's all right though because this is the last uh, last run of this. I won't count that that death I had back there. This is pretty bad. Um, I'm not feeling a hundred percent though. Uh, I'll, I'll use it to my advantage though because I did want to do some Sega Genesis stuff. I want to do a couple action games really. I've been doing a lot of oh no I keep doing that. I've been doing a lot of RPGs, and I enjoy them, but I like doing a good platformer. I haven't really really done anything like that since um, Master of Darkness, and I you know oh, again I know Fez Fizana do probably you know counts a little bit, but I don't feel as though it, it totally meshes with the whole action game thing. It is, it is more, of, more of an RPG in my opinion. But you know, that being sick I'll, I'll be able to, you know, just take that time and maybe practice the levels a little bit. And I died again. This is terrible. I'm gonna do one last one last try at this. Um, if I could keep from walking on those platforms, I'll be all right. But yeah, being sick, I'll just do some practice runs of the levels, and you know, get good at whatever game I decide to play. I haven't even picked anything yet, and we'll take it from there. When I feel better. I'll do a video. This game is just determined to kick my ass all over the place. And after that, if, if we have time on my schedule of gaming, um, I might do Morrowind for the PC. I haven't done any PC games. I feel like I'm leaving that out. I will admit that Morrowind is a favorite of mine. I've never done a review of it. But I'd really I'd really just like to play it again. And 
you know, I might as well review it while I'm playing it and make videos. Hopefully I'll be able to get good footage of it because the... Hopefully this will work. Okay, that's good. The, uh, what I use to record has trouble pick, it has trouble grabbing OpenGL stuff, which is, you know, from people who don't know, it's just, I guess it's just a type of graphics, I'll put it that way. It's, you know, like there's DirectX and there's OpenGL and there's probably other things, but, um, yeah, it has trouble getting them. Get it, getting, grabbing that video. So, hopefully I'll be able to pick it up though. I think I can. I'll just uh, tinker with the settings. I'll just try a different type of capture. Um, I do have to do that from time to time. But, uh, I might not necessarily do Morrowind right away. Because I have something else planned. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it a surprise though. And, you know, I probably shouldn't do these little news update things on while I'm playing this because, you know, this video could be four or five years old by the time someone watches it and it'll be ancient history. Um, especially this game because it seems very obscure. I don't, I don't know how many people are going to be looking for dragon crystal videos in the next you know, a few days or weeks. That's partially why I do what I do. Is to, to get these games, you know, give them a little love. Even, even the bad ones. Just so people can see them. Okay. Then we got a brown ring. <laughs> I don't even want to know. Brown ring, I don't want to know what that is. No effect, so it does nothing. It's a toy ring. Thank you, game. Uh, Dragon, Dragon Trissel is trolling me tonight. Making me a, its lol cow. Kill that damn scorpion there. I know this levels help too. I was saying how equipment heavy the game is. But, you know, having a couple levels under your belt seems. Oh god. Seems to be very useful. Just, just kill it. Kill it with fire. Alright. There's nothing, nothing. Please don't step on a teleporter. I always saw, I think the little icon they have for the, the dungeons is a little strange. Like, why is it a star? Usually his steps are uh, more than adequate. Dragon Crystal just has to be special, I guess. Um, I did play its, uh, well not its prequel, but its predecessor, Fatal Labyrinth. I mean, I really should have looked how this game, story of this game up. But I did play Fatal Labyrinth. And I am going to look the story of the game up for my actual written review. But I did play that a bit. Not, not a whole lot. Looks like a really good game though. It has a little more, um, one more to it. Oddly enough, it's older than this one. And it's a Genesis game. But, uh, there we go. Fatal Labyrinth did not, did have steps. <laughs> I think that was the point I was going for. Actually, is that like a, what are they, what are they called? A pentagram? It looks like that. Yeah, that's, that's what it looks like. Now we know, we know about this game now. Yeah, I think I think this was made in I'll have to look. I think it was made in ninety one. Fatal Labyrinth was either eighty nine 
Or 90? I'll, I'll have to look at that. Very early Genesis game. Alright, so we have this thing here. Oh, I'm confused. This it's nothing confusing. Just stab the red shiny thing in front of you, dude. As I get my ass kicked. Mamalar, leather suit, crap, crap, crap. So they yeah, should just say you found crap. Uh, I think the Lamellar is the better of the armors. Of course, no weapon, right? Cyan ring. Oh, I've been cursed. But hunger ring, even, even better. Ah, that's good though. That's that's refreshing. Hopefully, I'm not still wearing the hunger ring though. Okay. Stab it. Kill it. Oh, there's some meat down there. I wish my, uh... I don't think that... Oh, that worked. Yeah, I wish my, um... My voice would allow me to do the but my butcher impression from Diablo. When you open the door, he would go, Ah, uh, fresh meat. Can't, can't really do it right now, though. My throat's all... Fucked up. Let's see. Okay. That's all. It's gold. Me gold! Yeah, that movie, Leprechaun. I remember, this is quite a while ago now. I remember it was, uh, I guess I was in my early 20s still. I remember renting that. And they still had like movie rental places and that was still a thing. I'm sure there's some around still, but I remember running that with some friends just so we could watch a crappy movie and make fun of it and, you know, have some beers and just hang out. I remember being shocked to see that Jennifer Aniston was in it. A lot of, a lot of big stars got their, their beginnings in, in uh, B-movies or, you know, horror movies that might have been a little... Campy. If I remember correctly, Johnny Depp was in, uh, I think, Freddy 2? Or Nightmare, no, Nightmare on Elm Street 2? That's what we used to call, oh no. I keep getting cursed. Uh, that doesn't help. Yeah, Nightmare on Elm Street 2. We used to call that, <laughs> that series Freddy when I was a kid. Freddy Krueger. First kids shouldn't have been watching it. But hey, it was the 80s. And I was quite young then. Oh, this is gonna destroy me. If I, if I maybe can find something. And yeah, kill that. Oh, I hate this. This is, uh, this is not uncommon for roguelike, so, random teleport curse. I mean, in some ways it's almost good, but then, you know, you try to pick something up, or live, or anything, really, and you suddenly find yourself doing that. Get the meat, get the meat, there we go, get the rod. I don't know, can, is there like an uncursed rod? I'm not sure. <laughs> this is crazy. Like, I think they made this, the uh, the chances of doing that maybe a little too high. <laughs> but you can never, ever, I don't know. You just can't get anywhere with that. Okay, we'll go down. We're doomed. Unless I get really lucky and find an uncursed scroll. It's a wrap. <laughs> Unless I teleport my way through the game. 
You never know, right? Shit could go right. Ah, oh. <laughs> I was going to try to make a run for that exit. You know, I wonder how that would go, maybe, if you just ran to every exit. Like, some of these games, it, it, it can work. But if you have to fight something and you do that, you're, you know, you're just, you're just setting yourself up for failure. Okay, come on. Well, you can teleport me now. Like, it's fine to teleport me when there's enemies everywhere. Alright. Alright, good, we made it. Alright, potion. Got a piece of bread. <laughs> oh my god. Well, at least it makes for entertaining viewing. Let's try a few of these. No effect. Okay. No effects. Nothing happened. I wonder if that means something different. No effect. Like, if that indicates, like, what kind of rod it is. Like, none of these shits work. I dropped a lot. Well, that worked, right? Nothing happened. Bull bullshit. Bullshit happened. Okay. Ah, oh, please be a blessed scroll. Your armor won't rust. That, well, that's great. While I teleport everywhere. Forever. Come on. Yeah, I guess you would ultimately, with this game at least, you're ultimately probably just shooting yourself in the foot if you just ran down the floors as fast as possible. As I can see some of the damage these enemies can do later on. I had a pretty good run once. And they get brutal. Not that they, they aren't all right at all, but depending on what you have. Oh, oh my god. Kill it. As long as I take some of these bastards down with me, right? I wish it. Some, in some ways, I wish it would just kill me. This would be like a mercy killing. At this point. Okay, there we go. Gold. This has to be a big bag with a dollar sign on it, right? Where's Scrooge McDuck? Oh, that would be a good game to do. Never, I never played the, uh, the NES DuckTale games. Right, I guess there's just one. There might have been a sequel. I have to see. But it's it's well it's well regarded, and I've seen I've seen videos and stuff of it. That was that was one odd thing it was like you know back then I mean even today you know mo movie games had somewhat of a bad reputation, and it wasn't totally you know they did kind of earn it. Um. New scroll? I don't know. I guess I'll go go a little further before I go down there, because I don't want to. I don't want to bring disaster upon myself. But yeah, movie games and licensed games, you know, superhero stuff and all that. They often had a bad reputation, and very often, rightfully so. But there were some games that were actually quite good. And, you know, in the late 80s, the 80s, oh, oh no, in the 80s and 90s, like, Disney was actually pumping out, well, not necessarily Disney, but 
Now, whoever they were licensing to. Okay, I gotta heal again. You lose all your potions anyway, so you might as well fight. Um, whoever they were licensing out to, like, they very often made some pretty good games, really. Um, one of my favorites that I played was Mickey Mouse's Magical Quest. Um, or I think it was Magical Quest starring Mickey Mouse. I think that was the title. And, you know, I was, I was like 12 or 13, and my, my cousin had it, who, she, you know, she was a few years younger than me. And I remember going, oh, that's, that's stupid, Mickey Mouse. And, you know, I, I played it a little bit, and I loved it. It was just a lot of fun. I think that was on Super Nintendo, but, you know, they had a, quite a few games like that, even... Aladdin was pretty decent, if I remember correctly. You know, it was just surprising. Now, if only this game would just stop. So, I can't go on. Luckily, I have some gold. Okay, so hopefully one of these rings will help us. Instead of being horribly cursed with... Oh, no! Of course, he confuses me. Instead of being cursed with some horrible teleport spell or something. And I think I would have rather have dealt with hunger. Okay, my health improves. That's good. I think I'm just going to keep that on for now. Uh-oh. Do I got problems? No. I don't. Okay. And go up this way. And speaking of licensed games, maybe I'll someday I'll try some of the Harry Potter games. They never appealed to me much, though. Although well, the Quidditch seemed kind of cool. I, I might give that a shot. But they, they all seemed a little too... You know, too kid-oriented. So I'll have, to, I'll have to look into that. Maybe there's... You know, maybe there's some that are more... Uh-oh. Do I have anything? Like, I don't know why suddenly these guys are doing insane amounts of damage. I don't know why I healed like that. That's good, though. I seem to heal a lot with this ring one. Maybe that's uh, the new OP thing. Nice overpowered ring that would balance everything out nicely for me. Considering the shit luck I had earlier. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm really congested here. Yeah, I'll be taking a couple days off. I'll have to find a find an action game. I'm probably gonna have to look for a bad game. Um and of course, like, you never know with a game. Um, you know, well, you, 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 know, you might play it for the first few minutes and know. But you can never be 100% sure, so I might find a bad game and it actually turns out to be alright. Um, well, I'm probably going to have to do a rather, rather bad game because uh, everything I've done for Sega has scored fairly decently. You know, the lowest thing I got was Master of Darkness, and that was a C plus, which isn't that bad. I mean, it's not wonderfully great, but you know, it's kind of like saying, well, it's average, but it's it's a good average game. <laughs> if that doesn't that even makes any sense, it's like like a, a little little. Better, better kind of mediocre than what you would expect from mediocre. But yeah, and Streets of Rage 2, and um, this is kind of sucking. And Fire Shark both scored highly. I really, really loved Fire. Oh, I'm done. That's it. I really love Fire Shark though. That was fine. I wish I was recording stuff when I did it. And that's it. And that's the last of uh. 
one three. I got confused by that witch, and it killed me. As I tried to either fight it or run. Uh, so this game, like I said, it's it's really a rare animal. I cannot think of any 8-bit roguelikes offhand on a console. Uh, this was on the Game Gear as well. I think there might have been some on Nintendo. They might have been like the Tornico games or something. I, I never really played one. Uh, I'll have to look into that. But very rare beast. Um, that's for sure. How is it as a roguelike? Well, and that's the question I'm asking myself. Um, it's very, very simplistic. Anyone who's played something like Lindley's Dungeon Crawl or Prime or NetHack, tell you that roguelikes are very, very deep Western RPGs. This game's very, very, very toned down. Um, I don't think it's a bad thing, though. It's a, it's easy to pick up and play and get your ass kicked and your shit wrecked. And they still manage to make it a little bit tough. It keeps in, in, in the spirit of roguelikes. Um, it's music and graphics aren't great. And since I don't know its story, I can't say much about that. And that makes it hard to score it fairly. But his gameplay is good. I like it. It's, you know, you, you can just really just kind of pick it up and waste time with it. I imagine, like, on the Game Gear, this would be something great to have, you know. If you're, you're on a plane ride, I mean, who has a friggin' Game Gear, right? I mean, you know, back in the day. Or even now, if you have an emulator on your phone or something, you know, you're on a plane ride or a train or something, and you have a lot of spare time. Yeah, you know, kill a few hours on Dragon Crystal. Um, it's fun, definitely. But like I said, its graphics aren't great at all. Uh, it's nice to see something where they change the sprites and stuff. But like the decision, like you can see here with that, I don't know, there's tiles that, ugh, they should just left everything black. Um, but it's not, I don't know, it, I just like it, it's charming, there's something about it that just sticks with me. So, tentatively, until I look at the story and see what it's about, tentatively this game is a B-. minus. It might even, you know, if I think the story's interesting from what's in the instruction manuals if I can hunt one down or just find some kind of online resource if I think that's good and interesting um, you know maybe it will score a little bit higher and I'll think about the game some more uh, you know like I said it does have some flaws and the, the whole thing with not being able to access some of the, the exits I don't know it's kind of strange you know, the one time I couldn't find the exit at all, the other time I was able to use a staff to go, to basically respawn the level, that helped. So, that that's a, a bug in it, I guess. I don't know. Um, I don't know. What I, what I might do is, to get a good, good idea of the story, is I'll just see if I can find what is just someone beating it or something. I hate to spoil it for myself like that, but just to give myself an idea of what it does, you know, how it goes. If there's any kind of story or anything to it. But aside from that, you know, like I said, it's kind of B minus. It's not a bad game. It's, you know, how many roguelikes do you see on an 8 bit system? You know, that, that in itself is, is special. And it's not terrible. It's not a bad game. It's. You know, if you like a like roguelike, it's, it's very niche kind of game. I'll say that. But if you like this kind of kind of thing, especially like an easy pick up and play one, uh, it's worth checking this out. So, you know, thank you guys for watching Retro Magadan and bearing with me in my ingestion. Probably doesn't come through on the mic very much. I noticed. Uh, 
I notice that doesn't always happen. Um, you know, even if I can kind of tell the difference in my own voice when I'm talking. I don't know why. But thanks for watching. Uh, I'll be back in a couple days when I'm feeling better. In the meantime, I'll, I'll just work on stuff off screen. Find a bad game. <laughs> Not a, you know, find something that looks bad to me offhand. You know, just checking it out at first. And I'll try playing it until I get good enough at it to do a video and I'm feeling better. So, you know, we'll do it, we'll do it like that. So until then, good luck and happy gaming. If, oh, you know what? If you like this video, just, you know, hit like and or subscribe. Let me know what you guys think because, you know, that makes a big difference in the way this goes and the direction I go in. Um, uh, you know, so until next time.